Hello everybody, Pastor Ken here, and great to have you on deck, ready for another experience of getting into the Word of God and uh, becoming more like Jesus. Hope you have a good day planned, and uh, it's all what we make it, because the Lord's on our side. Good morning, Gary, uh, as you head down the work to the big city. May you uh, experience the greatness of God uh, as you listen to Rise and Shine the whole way down. Glad to be riding with you, buddy. I'd like to talk to you about the topic sealed. Sealed. I would like to go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, and start out by reading the precious Word of God. Because of what Christ did, verse 13, look here, first of all, he just lifts it right up, gets right to it. It's all about Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit comes to make Jesus Christ real. The Holy Spirit comes to do something more than make you feel, although that's a part of it. He comes to make Jesus Christ real real. And because of what Christ did, all you others too who heard the good news about how to be saved and trusted in Jesus Christ were marked, um, branded, uh, sealed, identified as belonging to Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit. This happens when we get saved. I'm talking about being saved by the blood of Jesus and what happens regarding the Holy Spirit in you when that happens. He comes to seal you or to mark you or identify that you are his. Who long ago had been promised to all of us Christians in his presence within us is God's guarantee that he really will give us all that he promised. And the spirit seal upon us makes that God has already purchased us and that he guarantees to bring us to himself. This is just one more reason for us to praise our glorious God. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I get shout, I get shouting happy on that man. I really do. Now, now, I, I borrowed a ring from somebody. The only ring I usually wear is this one here, my wedding ring. But I borrowed a a, a high school ring from somebody, um, because I want to show you something. Back in the early days, really early, long before you and I. When the king would want to seal something, he'd take a piece of paper, okay, like that, and then he would put some wax right there, right there, on the crease, right on the fold, and then he would take this ring and go like that, okay? He'd just press it down right on that wax, and the wax was overlapping, both edges, and so the piece of paper with the message in it got sealed, and when it got sealed, it had the name of the owner of the seal engraved in the in the ring, and it went right on to that identification uh, process of sealing that letter. A great illustration how the Holy Spirit seals us and identifies that we belong to God through Jesus. And in that scripture I just read for you, all three pieces of the triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are active in this process. God saves us through Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit comes to seal us and welcome us into the family and, and even uses the terminology of a guarantee. 
guaranteed the mail went, went through. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. <sighs> wow. That is that's exciting to me. Let me let me show you something else I got here. This is a quart jar of some of the best peaches that Adams County offers. They're some kind of good. Donna, when you come down, we'll have some of these. Dave, when you and Janice come down, we'll have some of these. But the person that cut these peaches up, prepared them, peeled them, cut them up, and put them in this jar with a certain amount of liquid, went through another process of sealing this. Putting the lid on, putting this on, then put it in heat. And when they all pop, you hear them popping under the heat pressure, you know it's sealed. Now, I don't know how long that would last. I know when at the Civil War the Museum, they said that they found a quart of peaches that goes back as far as the Civil War. Now, they didn't say you could eat them. They just said they were there. But I have a feeling in a year's time, you could still eat these. Two years' time, you could still eat these. Three years' time, you could still, and on and on. Because they're preserved. They're preserved. I'd just like to share to you that that's the way it is in our relationship with Almighty God. If you're genuinely saved and have made a genuine commitment to the Lord, you say, where's it make, where's the spot where everybody gets where they just go for a while and give up? Well, it's not God that does the giving up. It's not Jesus that gives the giving up. It, it's, that's a human thing. God's doing everything he can to get you and I to heaven. Okay? And this ceiling... We, we need to get this in our heart because there's security in there. There's guarantee in there. There's a marking in there. And most of all, there's a person in there. The person of the Holy Spirit comes to live inside the second you get saved. In the scripture, a seal communicates ownership protection, validation of the relationship. It means that person is mine. I guess they still do it. And I know they still do it. I know they do it in Kansas because I have friends that go there and have been a part of it. Brand cattle. They brand cattle for purposes of ownership. When the cattle are turned loose on the open range, that brand says, that steer belongs to me. I love it. You know, in the Bible days, and after that, they actually put a brand on people. It meant that person belongs to me, belongs to me. And that wasn't all bad because the people that belonged to the master had protection, they were fed, they had roofs over their head, a place to raise their family. It was a thing of ownership and validation of relationship, and it was protection. So everybody knew this piece of property belongs to me. I'm glad today that I belong to Jesus. I've had lots of faults in my life, and I've had brokenness in my life, and 
I remember many years ago, in a time of brokenness, I read a verse that said, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Though he fall, he shall not utterly be cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I'm telling you, God's doing everything he can do through the power of the Holy Spirit and with the blood of Jesus to get you to heaven. He loves you. He cares for you. It would be good for you to know that you're sealed. Ephesians 1 and 13, listen. When you heard the word of truth and believed in him, Jesus, through Jesus you were sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit. Notice it's not a what, it's a who. It's not a brand, it's not a ring, it's not peaches, it's a who, the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the believer's seal. Here's another verse, Romans 8, 15 and 16. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption of sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father, or my dad, or Big Daddy. The Spirit himself bearing witness with our spirits that we are the children of God. That's a seal. My dear friend, God's got his love in your heart, your name in his book, the spirit in your heart and life, God's grace and mercy shining over you every day, the blood of Jesus available to cover you. Walk in the spirit so you do not Walk in the Spirit so you do not quench the Holy Spirit. Walk in the Spirit so you're walking in fellowship with him, okay? Because he wants you to understand this process of ownership. You belong to him. You belong to him, okay? God bless you. Got any questions, I'd be glad to try to answer them. But uh, share with your friends and let them all know something good is taking place at Mountaintop Ministry and on Rise and Shine. See ya. God bless.